So I want to answer a question that many people have asked me and I never really divulged any information regarding this question. And that question is, how much does a funeral director actually make? And are we bathing in money like everyone thinks? The answer is no. <laughs> So I really want to make this video to be transparent about the funeral industry, um, especially here in the state of Illinois. So I will break down basically benefits, working for a family run, a family owned funeral home, working for a corporate funeral home, and just how they differ. So let's say you get a job at a family owned funeral home and there are about three employees the chances are that you will not be given health benefits you would only be paid a salary now that's not the case for every family owned funeral home but it is a reality let's say you just got a job at a corporate owned funeral home a cremation company cemetery chances are you will be getting health benefits you will be getting a 401k uh, with a company match uh, you will be receiving paid time off uh, vacation time and all of the all of everything that comes with that I've mainly worked out of family owned funeral homes and so I, for the most part, haven't had health benefits, vision, dental, 401k provided to me from working at a funeral home. So that's a downside. If that's something that you're really looking into getting from a company, maybe you don't want to be a part of a family run funeral home. Um, I'm not saying that all of them do not offer that because I do know some family owned funeral homes that do offer the health benefits and a lot of what um, corporate funeral homes offer. So that is definitely out there, um, but there are many funeral homes that do not offer that. So just be prepared for that. Um, that's definitely something that you want to know and be prepared for. So when I first started as an apprentice, I made $11 an hour and um, I did get a raise of $1 after a year, which was very strange. But anyway, that was something that I accepted. And um, I did end up leaving there and pursuing marketing and doing something else just because um, the money wasn't there at that moment. And so after about three months, I started looking for another job which I did start off with making, it was it was a salary of 46,000. And typically I wouldn't accept a position with that low of a pay, but I did see the potential of where it can go and I did agree on a six month review. Um, and during that six month review, I would be getting a pay raise because that's what we had agreed upon and so after six months i did receive a pay raise um i would have to say it's very tricky when you are working with a family-owned funeral home um you definitely have to stand up for yourself and you have to know your worth if you bring a lot to the table you should be definitely compensated for what it is that you bring to a business. So to finish off what I was saying, after six months as a licensed funeral director and embalmer, I received a raise of $27.50 an hour. I really believe that as a funeral director and embalmer, it's really hard to gauge what is a good salary or hourly pay rate. It's kind of hard 
to feel that you're paid fairly when you are doing a lot of work emotionally physically um mentally there's just a lot that goes into being in this profession and um i do believe that some people do bring you know a second language to the table they bring um special abilities if you do hair very well if you do makeup very well um if you're a perfectionist these are qualities that i believe should bring that pay rate higher um it'll all depend where you work who your employer is and if you're valued also i believe that being a good embalmer can definitely bring you a higher salary but then again like i said it all depends on your employer where you work if they have a set salary they're going to keep you at if they're willing to raise it if they're willing to keep you so it just really all depends um, I'm sorry that I don't have a definite answer for every little thing regarding this this whole um, topic but it's the reality of this profession comment down below if you have any questions about asking your employer for a salary increase or anything uh, regarding this video thanks for watching